Good morning guys, today is another day off and yeah, this is the second day of my day off and I don't know actually where I am going. Uh, yesterday there is nothing much, I just walk around and went to the harbor bridge. And I am now heading to 7-Eleven to put some credit in this Opal card. As I remember last night, this is just having a $3, oh I mean $2 something. So I need to load it up and buy some coffee also. I was I was thinking of going to the nearby area of Bondi Beach and uh, yeah in the beach but I changed my mind because I don't want to you know because the weather is very hot so I don't want to get dark so now I am just going to maybe Cronola it's a park uh, I check on the internet it's a Royal National Park so it's a park maybe I go to the mountain in the forest I see falls I see things like that so. I think it's a good idea. Okay, we see later. When I arrive here in Sydney, they are not even started to do the construction of this uh, uh, LRT. It's uh, very nice looking before. There's no things like this, so it's really good looking. But the day after, they already put the fence like this. So they started to do the construction. Now it's almost uh, nine months that they are having this. So this is the Starbucks coffee here, the coffee is $3, but 7-Eleven you get just $1. And you know what, there's a lot of Thai massage here. You see this Thai massage. And then if you walk a little bit more, you're going to see another Thai massage. And I am now in the central station and I will check which is the best place to go now so you can see the those those are the you know the time the schedule of the train so now I am in this uh, platform it's platform 9 and I saw on the sign there that this one is will pass to the Morisset and I remember that one of my friend I mean one of my colleague in our kitchen he said he went to Morisset Park well they he found the you know that kangaroo I've never seen a kangaroo so maybe today I am going to see that and I am excited even before I was planning to go to the Morisset Park but I don't know how but since I found it how to get there I will try it now So we've been traveling for more than one hour now and at the moment we are in Wayong train station and I don't know how many stations more but hopefully it's near. Oh we are now in the Morrison station. So this is the Morissette station and at the moment I still don't know where to go but for sure I want to see the Morissette park to see the kangaroos I think that's the main attraction for going here so now I am trying to figure out where to see 
where to see that where to go which bus I need to take so I can see that so again it shows how friendly how and how approachable are the Australian because I was standing there and then the bus driver approached me and asked if I need help and yeah I asked where is the way going to the kangaroo <laughs> and then yes she he explained where is it and he told me to just wait in here there is a sign here that you know yeah this sign this will bring you to the kangaroo park there is something that is uh, going on on the side there are police so they didn't let me go on the side i think it's small incidents i'm not sure Oh yeah, here's the ATM machine. So I am now in a Thai restaurant. I am having this uh, pad basil. This is a beef with uh, basil. And of course, it comes with rice. It's a uh, $10. So I just had my lunch. They're in yummy Thai. Uh, it's as usual, a normal Thai food nothing special but until now there is a police in here and uh, people are not able to pass through that way so we are now in the shuttle that will bring us to the Morissette Park to see the kangaroo and we are going to pay here three dollar per person uh, this is like a private uh, shuttle so we are now here in the you know in the kangaroo area from here i can already see some kangaroos on that side and i see some people that are uh you know roaming around also and this is the shuttle that brings us here so this is a park this is not a there is no entrance there is no entrance fee or anything you just need to get down and go over there yeah <laughs> how come the kangaroos are just staying there oh look at this there are so many poo poo is this a poo poo of the kangaroo maybe but this is seems to be like a just a natural natural park with the animals and with trees there's no special features that are made by human so this one is eating carrots look at this one he is walking like he's uh, having difficulties to walk to walk they are just like a, a dog that are just sitting down there also the skin are very like a looks very clean so some people are feeding them with the carrots and bananas and i don't know what else but yeah usually carrots and bananas like that and there are some banana here and the rest of the people there they are doing the same and it's not just the kangaroos but there are also some pigeons they have the same color the eye is big but looks sad <laughs> there's a lot it's maybe more than a hundred look at these some of them they come closer to me i don't know if they are asking for food or they just want to smell me look at that this one has a baby on the on the belly of so this one this kangaroo is afraid of me i tried to get closer but he ran away 
and yeah so according to the driver of the of the oh my there are some more group there are more group of uh, kangaroos on that side and two of them are looking at me yeah if you see something like that a group of kangaroos that and you are alone and those kangaroos are looking at you for sure you'll be <laughs> you'll be afraid to get there and uh, according to the to the driver this building is a uh, psychiatric hospital well, to be honest with you I'd never been in the in the zoo or in the you know anywhere with the animals I've never been there and this is the first time that I've seen a real not common animals like this so the usual animals that I've been seeing is the dogs cow carabao duck chicken or those things but the giraffe the lion the tiger elephant I've never seen those Yeah, there's a lot of uh, here so it's time for me to go bye bye kangaroos see you later and and there are some warning here that says please don't feed the kangaroos like this bread kills kangaroos and they write it in different language especially this uh, uh, mandarin and yeah, Arabic and the other language so that every people can understand that they should not feed kangaroos so some people they come here with their car and they can see one two three four and yeah I am the only one who is alone yeah the other guys they also wanted to come here but <laughs> yeah, they sent me a message but I'm already in the in the train they want to follow but I told them that it takes two to three hours travel so they decided not to go here they but now now they are in Manly they decided to go there this is a wildlife area there is no security or there is no attendant that is taking care of the animals nothing I don't even know if there is a camera in here I don't think so but there is a warning that speed controls built into roads so yeah that's maybe is it I want to go I want to go inside the forest but I'm a little bit scared maybe there are some snakes or something dangerous now I am, I am in the place where I need to make a decision whether I go that way or I go straight this way I don't know but it looks nothing in here I hope this is safe yeah this uh, this fly is passing I hope to see a public transportation here oh there is one house here I don't know if it's a house or yeah, it's a big house. Nice. Another house. So I think this is already a residential area. I can hear a car. Yeah, there is a car that is coming now. The houses are all the same but there's nobody wow even here there are kangaroos I can see it's there nice and it's already the residential area so I'm a little bit scared in this area a narrow road and the road is not concrete
yeah this road is still in the map so it will still bring me to the city maybe there is just one tiger or lion or wild animals that will approach me oh my god oh what will i do if that happens i run i run because i heard something is scary in that side so again i am here in the crossing now which road i need to take whether this one or this one So now, okay, now I can hear uh, there are motorcycles. Now it's cool. There are people that are passing in this road. So I feel safe now. Yeah, in a place like this, in a place like this, what I'm scared for is the wild animals. Yeah, I'm not scared of the people here. And look at this road. I feel that it is impossible to pass here any uh, normal vehicle like cars. Yeah, that motorcycle, it's good. It's such like an adventure to pass in this kind of road. So look at that danger. Road close 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. nightly. Okay, I am now in the Acacia Avenue, and it's heading to heading to yeah to the train station. It's still a bit far. So there's already a lot of cars that are passing in this road. It would be amazing if there are people offer me a ride that would be nice but of course I'm not expecting that but look there are guys with a motorcycle oh very small it's like a homemade I wonder why the color of these trees are like this this is looks like burn also on the other side the same let's have a closer look you think it's burn by the way thank you for the comments that you uh, you write on my previous blog about the uh, you know some about the topic that I am looking for a new job yeah thank you very much for all your prayers and for the links that you gave me yeah thank you very much I appreciate <laughs> anyway uh, from here I can already see some houses it is hot it's very hot I'm sweating and this is the same temperature like before when we are in uh, Southeast Asia very hot so they have a small shopping mall here in uh, Morissette area very near to the train station and from here I can see Domino's Pizza and there is a Coles, there is Target and Morissette Square and I am now back to the train station and I am thinking whether if I go straight there or going back to Sydney I don't know my balance and at the moment I have $4.96 on my card.